What's going on guys? Level M Diecast bringing you some major red action today. We are going to take a look at some uh, of these new models that I got from my box haul. <clears throat> Just going to crack these open as we go. First guy we're going to take a look at, we are going to look at this Honda Civic in blue. This is from the Honda Civic set. There are six models in the set. Unfortunately, I just have the one. Uh, this set also comes with that elusive gold uh, Civic. I know there's a couple gold other majorettes. Those are kind of like chase pieces. So pretty cool. Uh, this guy looks pretty good in blue. Um, I really like this new wheel from Majorette. looks pretty good. Um, I don't think that they really put that wheel on anything that it doesn't look good. Um, it's not always painted with the red lip either. It's here and there. Uh, this guy also does have an opening hatch, which is pretty nice. You know, it's premium cars, it's premium cars, you know, so Majorette's always got something going on, either doors or a hatch or they rarely do a hood though. I've noticed that they rarely do a hood, um, but I do like this blue one. I did not have one in blue, obviously, uh, just because, you know, it's, it's the Honda Civic set. Um, obviously, this is probably something never coming to the U.S., but maybe, maybe someday, maybe someday. Um, and then, of course, it is made red, so there is suspension as well. There are the deets. Should you want the deets? There you go. Taking a look at the next guy. Cracking him open right now in real time. This is the Alfa Romero Julia. The guy looks so, so good with those wheels. So good. Those wheels are like primo perfect for this guy. Just, man, this is such a good casting. Now, don't get me wrong. I love, I love the one that Matchbox did. I'm glad that they did it. Um, but like I mentioned when I did this haul, these are very, very different price points. Uh, very different price points. This guy retails for a minimum of four times as much as that that uh, Matchbox version does. So you'd expect to have a lot more detail to it. Casting looks really, really good as it rolls around. Um, and then this guy also does have opening doors. Cracking both of those doors open at the same time. Letting them roll around. There's an incredible amount of detail on the inside. You know, Major Ed never, never cuts any corners. Even a lot of detail on the actual inside of the doors. Not just a flat piece of metal. Looking pretty good. This is a really, really good casting. Good proportions. The wheel choice is perfect. Lens headlights. It's just a good, good casting. Good casting. I really like this casting a lot. This is definitely already one of my favorite majorettes for sure. And of course, suspension. The front one doesn't work all that all that well because there's just not enough space. And then there are your base deets. And it's wicked. All right, next one we're going to crack open. Um, I'm actually going to throw this one up here. Because this has to do with the one I'm opening right now. That is the Camaro uh, police car from the Hero Patrol. Um, that was at Target for a little bit. It's literally um, Majorette. SOS series. Um, so. So the reason I bring that guy up is that exact casting there has been modified uh, to the premium line to be this guy and it looks good now it has it's got lens headlights now the previous version had lens headlights but because the window was black to hide the electronic uh, SOS component inside there was no interior or anything like that so now you see it on this guy uh, this guy looks really, really good. Not a fan of these plain Jane Majorette wheels, but I still think that you know this casting looks pretty good. It's a it's a modified uh, Camaro, and um, I believe Chasing Diecast Cars had mentioned that this was originally created for the 
uh, Transformers line, which I definitely don't have any major at Transformers stuff, that's for sure. Um, so I would not be able to compare that. But the good thing about this guy too, being that it is premium cars, does have opening doors. So there's a lot of changes that went into this casting um, from the SOS version to be this version, vice versa, I should say. Um, I do like this casting. I think it looks good. I like the fact that the fenders have that nice bolt-on uh, wide body appearance. The diffuser in the back is ridiculous. Um, add a nice wing to this and it would be, be a pretty wicked car. But I think it looks good in black. Looks good in black. Um, <clears throat> we're going to roll on to the McLaren Senna. Get that guy ready. We're going to show you the deets. There's your deets. Chevy Camaro. And just for comparison purposes, in case you wanted any kind of comparo purposes, this is the one from the SOS uh, Hero Patrol. See, it is marked with Jada Toys there. Still has suspension, all that stuff on there. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Um, this McLaren is ridiculous, though. Now... Majorette has come out with a bunch of new castings this year. Um, is there? I, I really feel like they're really trying to make great strides to globalize the line. I do truly feel like Majorette is trying to get into the U.S. market. Um, I don't feel like Jada is really pulling their weight, uh, just my opinion. Um, but I do understand that getting peg space at retail is not an easy feat. But Jada has a lot of peg space, a lot of shelf space at retail. Um, and I really feel like they have more pull than they're leading on to be. So hopefully this stuff will come to the U.S. at some point. But anyways, get back to the McLaren here. I do like the wheels. Look pretty good. Um, this casting looks pretty good. The wing is plastic, which is not too big a deal. However, this guy does have the infamous... Gull wing style type of doors. Or Lambo type, type doors, I should say. They don't quite open exactly perfect with each other, but that's okay. That's okay. It's not a big deal. It's a lot of door. There's a lot of door to open on this model. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I'm just happy they have the feature on there. You guys like that? I think it's pretty sweet. They could have they could have made something else work on this, I suppose, but it doesn't really make sense to make something else work on it. Looks pretty good though. Looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna do another premium. I got a couple more premiums here, um, and then we're gonna do some vintage. So we're gonna go on to doing some more premiums. Roll those doors down. There are the base. Deets. Get that in the glare so you guys can read it. Again, there is suspension, but there's very little travel, which is exactly what you'd expect from a McLaren. Uh, next up is this C7 Vet. That guy's looking ridiculously good. Now, I think this is just the second color we've gotten of this, I believe. The first one was in yellow. I do have the yellow one. Um, there was also one in gold. There's a gold chase, I think. Um, there might be one more in the racing series. Majorette's a very odd brand to kind of follow because they don't, in my opinion at least, they don't they don't really feel like they have cohesive years like Matchbox and Hot Wheels does where it's like, you know, you get to the end of the year and then here's the next year's models and so on and so forth. They just kind of roll with stuff and they kind of just, have new lines, new segments and stuff. It's it's a very interesting, very interesting the way that they run things over there. But anyways, this guy is in matte gray. It's got those blue uh, swipes on the front fenders. They look pretty good. Of course, head, lens headlights, part of the uh, window. So they're all tinted blue. Again, that nice wheel. 
I think this is the best wheel that they make. Um, this one's just chrome lipped. Looks good. I think this one would even look good with the blue chrome lipped. I think you guys can agree. I think that would look pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, of course, you know, being premium, this guy also has opening doors. Take a look at those. I do like the fact that the uh, side mirrors are molded in. Uh, the side mirrors have been molded into all the doors on all the models thus far. So no skimping out on the detail. Because, you know, Majorette doesn't do that. They do the good stuff. They pay attention. You know, I mean, these these models you're looking at right now, these are made for kids. I mean, that's exactly what they're making them for. But they're super high quality, functioning, all the good stuff that, you know, from Hollows or Matchbox, you have to pay, pay a premium price to get that stuff um, versus the standard range. It's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I think if Majorette ever came into the U.S. full blown, you know, with, with you know, just this stuff hanging on the pegs, they would they would decimate Mattel. I just, they would. They would. All right. <clears throat> We're going to roll on to some vintage cars. Um, these are still premium. So these vintage cars are still going to have moving features. But uh, they are in the vintage line. Get this guy's doors closed. There are his deets. Do you like the diffuser on the front? Looks pretty good. And then, of course, this guy has suspension. It's much softer in the front than in the rear. I don't think that's by purpose, but still looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Next one we got here. This is the Renault 5 Turbo. Guy is in a matte red with some rust details on there, making it look like he's been sitting out in a barn. After he's done his uh, rally life. And uh, he's just rusting away. But it looks pretty good. Now the only problem I have with anybody who does like these. You know decos that are supposed to make the car look older than they are. They always have like really nice shiny wheels on them. So I mean bare minimum. I think that they should have just put black wheels on this. You know just no chrome foil print on the front. Um, I think it would have looked a little bit better. But. Kind of takes away from the fact that this is supposed to be, you know, run down patina style. Uh, like I said, it is premium. So this guy does have a opening hatch in the back. Which looks pretty good. Does have a window piece on the hatch in the back. Which looks pretty good. Got the nice tampo print on the front. With your Renault logo. I mean, the new, the new, this, this. This rust patina looks good, but it just, it's just, I don't know, man. It just, it's not patinaed. You know, like the, the car itself is not patinaed. I mean, if we look at this, the rust looks good. The detail is good. But, you know, then you have these really nice wheels on it. Uh, looking at the base deets. Made in Thailand course always suspension always good now we're going to go on to another vintage uh this one is my favorite of the whole vintage ones because well porsche that's all you gotta say porsche um this is another one that i was just barely able to sneak in right before the box was shipped to me um, just happened to come across this one. So stoked to get this. This looks so good. So good in black. I can't even tell you how good. I mean, this 934 is such a good casting. And I really think these, these wheels are so good for this car. Um, this is another new wheel from Majorette. This is a very good wheel. Very, very nice. Um, it just looks good. Temple prints look good. Casting's a good casting. Just, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm super biased Porsche. I, I will be the first to admit it. But this casting is, is incredible. And of course, it is premium. So since it's premium, you do got opening features. So the doors do open on this guy. Um, taking a look over here to the left at the wall. So this is my 7th 934 from Majorette. I know they have more than that. 
Um, but it's a pretty good, pretty good haul considering that, uh, you know, you can't get it in the U.S. So I think I've done pretty good. I think I've done pretty good. You guys could admit. Got that awesome Porsche on the door. Looks so good. And then Porsche on the back. There are your base deets. Such a good casting. Such a good casting. All right, but we're going to roll on to a brand new vintage casting uh, for 2021. This one has been uh, very high up on many, many, many lists for many, many, many people. Um, this might be this might be the best new casting of 2021. Um, but we're going to find out because I got two more castings to look at right after this guy. But they did such an incredible job on this Countach. So, so good. The wing is all metal. It's all one piece with the body. Details are incredible. I think the wheel choice is perfect based on, you know, what they have in their stable. I think that's good. I like the chrome lip on it as well. Just such a good casting. Just such a good casting. It's got great presence. It's, it's nice and wide. It's big. It's definitely what you'd expect for a Macintosh. And of course, it's premium. So, it takes a little bit, a little bit more than just one hand to get these up. But, there we go. It does have the opening scissor doors. Um, that is as high up as they go, but it doesn't matter. They still open. Looks super good. I think it looks so good. It's just such a good casting. Now, I don't know if this will come to the deluxe line because I don't know if they have a a real a rubber tire that's that small. But it'd be nice to see this in the deluxe line. That would be pretty cool. But, I mean, this is just in their vintage line. This is not like some limited edition type thing or anything. This is just one of the ranges. And this model is ultra premium. This model is just ultra, ultra premium. It looks so good. The doors are metal, of course. And, of course, it does have suspension. These are the base deets. So good. So good. All right. This is another brand new casting for 2021. This is one that I was definitely looking forward to. Oh, man, it's so freaking cool. Check that out. That is the Land Rover Defender 90. I definitely want to do a video with this guy, the Matchbox, and the Global 64. But I feel like that's not really fair to Matchbox. Um, but I would just like to do a video with the three of those. Because I think it would be pretty cool. You know, this Defender in real life. The Defender 90 and the 110. The new ones. Um, they're easily like some of the best SUVs on the road. They look incredible. They're, they're sized well. They're just... If I wasn't such a Mopar junkie, I would definitely love to have one. But I tell you what, if I ever win the lottery, I'm definitely going to have either a 110 or a 90. Probably one of both. Probably one of both. Um, just because they just, they're just they just so good. This guy has the newer off-road wheel on it, which fits him perfectly. Still lensed headlights, which is what they always do. That's majorette for you. This comes in the signature green color. Um, pretty much all of the Land Rovers uh, have come in this color. As far as in the in the uh, toy range, at least you know once for those colors, uh, it does have the integrated spare tire on the back. Looks pretty good, and of course this is premium. So since this is premium, this guy does have opening doors. And these aren't just regular doors; those are the full door, the full door, the whole top rail and everything, which is definitely definitely pretty rare. Definitely pretty rare. So that looks really good. And I think that Majorette knew this wouldn't look good if they just did the little half door. Um, 
it would really take away from the casting, and I'm really, really glad they did it this way. Now, the door is open pretty wide. Not a huge fan of that massive hinge. I feel like that's more old school moving parts. Um, you'll notice on bigger scale, they have a, there's like a thin piece of metal that basically keeps the hinge right at the edge of the door. So there's not that huge gap. It's just, it's really difficult to do that at this scale. So hopefully at some point in time, that will trickle down to be, you know, somewhat of a inexpensive option. I think if we ever got super high end 164 that was done up like that, we might get that nice hinge in there. There are the base dudes. Looking pretty good. And of course, you know, still suspension. Doesn't have a whole lot of uh, travel in there, but pretty good. Uh, this top white piece is plastic. Which is kind of interesting. But I think they did that so they can get the color break. It's a lot cheaper to do that. So not too bad. Uh, we're going to roll on to the very last premium car I have. And this is probably the one everybody wants to see. And I wasn't leaving it to the last to be that guy. I just left it to the last because I really wanted to see, you know, how I would how I would like or dislike um, the new castings of 2021. So that is the GTR Nismo GT3. This is a new casting from Madre as well. Um, there's, I think there's like four versions of this out now. Uh, you got the premium version. You got one in the racing series, I believe. And then you got the uh, limited edition series seven, I think. And then he also came out in the black box box set. So this looks really, really good. Again, Perfect wheel choice. I think the wheel choice was key for this model in particular. Um, you know, when I did that haul, I was worried about the wing. Uh, pull it out of the package. The wing is good. No issues with the wing. The wing is plastic, but that's okay. It's just... This car has really grown on a lot of people. Um, and I think that... One of the reasons why Majorette did the racing version, the GT3, is because everybody makes the flipping GTR. And even Matchbox was like, hey, if we're going to do GTR, let's do the Nismo. Let's do the Nismo GT3. And they did the Nismo. And that one will be out, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks um, in the A case of the collector's line. So you can't wait to get that guy. Um, but this guy, this guy looks good. Now, originally when I got this, I was like, oh, the back looks kind of weird, but um that's i mean it's accurate it's just really the way it's it's done up on the gt3 it's not it's it's not the standard uh gtr in the back so this guy looks pretty good and of course it's premium so he does have opening doors get those doors down there now again it is majorette so you're going to see all that roll cage detail inside all the deets and all that good stuff um, interesting, it is left-hand drive, which is interesting. Um, not really sure if there's left and right-hand drive versions, but maybe maybe it's just because it's the GT3. I don't know. I just, I really assumed it would be right-hand drive, so maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me. But regardless, it looks good. Um, they even went through the detail of adding that tampo print to the top of the doors so that it will flow around for the rear window section. I mean, that's, this is the detail that Majorette does. Like, I just, I can't even boast about them anymore. They always focus on the little things. They focus on the little things. They get big ideas and they focus on the little things and they just, they execute. It's just insane. It's insane. Looking at the base. There are the deets. Not a whole lot of base deets on there because you don't really need base deets on this guy. Um, and then, of course, still has suspension. Let's get some up-close shots real quick. Does say Rays and Motul. Kind of interesting. GT3 on the back. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Really, really good details on the front. 
Really good details on the grill. So pretty nice guy. So he's definitely going to be up there, upper echelon levels. This guy is definitely upper echelon levels. This guy, definitely upper echelon levels. Um, this is the best it's looked thus far, in my opinion. But definitely have to include the Land Rover. Let's see if I can get him to just balance on there. I always see all those guys that are balancing like a billion cars on top of each other. It ain't going to fit. It just ain't going to fit. Let's zoom this out a little bit for you guys. So there you go. It's essentially the top picks. Just kind of throw all the rest of this stuff here. Kind of see it in the background a little bit. A little freestyle, okay? We're rolling out of 21. We're rolling into 22. And uh, technically... These are the last models to add in 2021, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. So I got more major coming up, though. Uh, we got some more other stuff that you know kind of kind of threw into a separate separate slot. So let me know what you guys like about those. Don't like about those. Let me know what you like about majorette. And I don't know if there's anything you can dislike about majorette, but if you find something, hey, you let me know. You let me know because I I don't know. I can't find anything wrong with Major Red except for they're not available in the U.S. That's the only problem with them. Now, we're going to roll out. Hope you guys have a fantastic end of your 2021. Catch you guys in 2022. Thank you all for your support. Appreciate that. Hope you guys like these. You guys are awesome. Leveling.cast. Peace.